All right, so today I'm pumped up. Seriously, literally and figuratively. I'm pumped up. We got something called the physics. I'm not sure where this came from, if it was like a, a Kickstarter or what. I know it's on Amazon Launchpad now though. This thing takes normal beer that comes in a can or a bottle and turns it into draft beer or draft-like beer. Which is shocking to me. I mean, generally speaking, with a draft beer, you're gonna you're gonna get a little bit more carbonation. Now they claim here premiumization, the physics behind great beer, a fresh from the tap flavor and taste. They dig the science. Runs on a battery and is compatible with all styles of carbonated beer. That's what they say you can achieve with the physics beer. Will I be able to tell the difference? We're gonna find out. We'll do a blind test. Maybe this thing's a scam. Maybe it sucks. Now, if you're not a beer drinker, I understand. What happens if you put a Coca-Cola in here, Jack? What do you get, more carbonation? Maybe that's a test for another day. Anyway. Ooh, this is exciting. This is real exciting. Instruction manual. A little uh, handle there. That's you pull on the top, just like you would if you had a keg. Kind of looks like one of those Keurig machines. It kind of looks like a, a coffee machine or something. Now, the reason it is this size is because it could do a can, bottle, and those bigger things, like the, the large bottle you might get from a craft brewery called a, a growler. Are they called a growler? Is this a lock? Yeah, okay. Flick up the locks on either side, lift it up, and that's it. You have an empty chamber in there, and then this little straw goes into your beer source, whatever that happens to be. The other package here contains a base. This is to keep the unit it stable as well as give you a platform to put your beverage that's a good look this guy just kind of there it is that has a good look to it i mean you have this thing at a party you're hosting a party you have this on the counter all right now this little guy that's it you pull down they said it's battery operated but where there it is okay so it takes four double a batteries hopefully they have juice in them put your hose into your beverage close the lid lock the clasps pull to tap and push to top. Whoa. Now I have no bartending experience here, so, but apparently you pull it down when you're pouring to tap and then you push it up to top for the fizz. I have a couple cans of beer here. Right in there. Now, truthfully, I probably wouldn't use this with a tall can. I think the growler concept is kind of nicer because then you can pour a few beers out of it and that just slides in there. Lock it down. Got our mighty mug. Beer cup, remember? Yeah! Go check that video if you're wondering what magic that just was. So this goes over here. Pull to pour and push to top. Zero bartender experience at play. Okay, here we go. Coming in hot. And then you get to the top and you can what happens if I push the other way? It's just foam? Oh, really thick. Did you see that? It's like a very dense foam. It kind of looks like a Guinness or something. Oh, man. The difference between the beer's own foam and the physics foam. Can you see that? Very interesting. Now, my pour probably could have been a little bit better, but I'm gonna give it a taste test nonetheless. Hmm. Does it taste like draft, maybe? Yeah. When you push this thing in the opposite direction, let's check it out. I just want I just want to show you. Look at the thickness of that foam. That is draft style foam. The density is completely different than what you get with the bubbles just pouring a can into a into a glass. If I could tell the difference, then I think that sells the thing on its own. Okay, so Jack has set up these glasses in front of me here. I don't know which one is which. Same can of beer. One came through the physics machine and one came straight out of the can. It's actually quite different. Okay, I'm ready to I'm ready to make my take my guess. I think the left hand was the physics one and the right hand was out of the can. It was right? You can tell the difference. It's like a creaminess. You can sense the carbonation in your mouth, 
but it's like you could tell the bubbles are smaller. A more full, more balanced kind of flavor. It just tastes a little bit more special. Most people, their preference would lean towards a draft beer. So the entire concept here is to bring that experience onto your countertop. And I, I mean, I think they've done it. Now I don't have a third beer here that's actually straight out of the draft. I would, I guess I would need to be at a bar for something like that, but certainly this tastes closer to draft beer as they've intended. Four AA batteries? This thing, I mean, it's not a complicated device. I don't know what's going on, how they're creating that scenario inside of here, what science is at play. You could let me know in the comments, but put this on your countertop, host a party, be the coolest kid in town. And I'd be surprised if you took anything I said seriously over the past couple of minutes because I got the special look going on. Whatever, let's get festive. Much love.